Those are some fast moving feet mm -hmm. of our next guest. We blurred her face because we want to still mm -hmm. surprise you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, she was named one of the biggest breakout stars of 2019. Her face was blurred there because you at home and my fellow hosts in the studio have yet to find out who's joining us, but it's time for the big reveal. Your clues once again, celebrated tap dancer, choreographer, funny girl. Okay, she's celebrated tap dancer and choreographer, obviously. The New York Times mm -hmm. named her one of the biggest breakout stars of 2019. This past July, really? she was one of five tap dancers. How many people do you know that were on a U.S. postage stamp? Hello. Okay, what? please welcome New York's very own from the Bronx, Ayadeli Cassell. Yeah. 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 I know she has to be Boricua. Ah. We knew it, we knew it. What's up? How are you? Oh. Some good clues. I'm good, I'm good this morning. How we, are you all? We are excited <laughs> that you are here, by the way. Those are some fast moving feet. So let's get right to the question first before everybody else Thank has you. questions for you, right? And this comes from our producer of this hour. And she said, can you still become a professional tap dancer as an adult? Because most of the time you hear people have started when they were so young. Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is absolutely yes. What? I am a testament to that fact. I actually oh. started tap dancing when I was nine, 19 years old. Oh, wow. I was, I was 19. I was a sophomore at uh, NYU. Yeah, at Tisch School of the Arts, and I was an acting major, and they offered us some movement classes, and they, it, one of them was Tai Chi, and the other one w was tap dancing, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is my opportunity to, you know, to just live my Ginger Rogers dreams, and so I signed up for that class, <laughs> and I, I, I would say two years after that, I became pro a professional tap dancer. Wow. So yes, wow. you can. We were just talking about Ginger Rogers. I was yeah. just going to say, you can star as uh, Tom Holland's Ginger yeah. Rogers in the new movie about uh, Fred Astaire. <laughs> My goodness. Um, so yeah, yeah go ahead. I love that. I mean, no, I was going to say, it's the kind of dance that really you can start at any age. I was 19, but really, like, I think that it is joyful. It is, like, something that gives people... Um, it's good exercise, but really, it just feels great. So I am always encouraging folks to start whenever, you know. Wow. Mm. Did you dance as, did you do tap dance as a mm -hmm. child, or you really just picked it up when you were 19? No. Nothing. Literally, my first tap class was 19 years old. Wow. No, nothing. I was just dancing. I mean, the, the most dancing I did was I wanted to, like, be a Janet Jackson dancer. So, like, it really, <laughs> I would do rhythm Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my, in my room. But that was about it. <laughs> That was about it for formal training. Uh -huh. well, yeah, what was it about tap dancing, though, that drew you to it? I think it was its potential to, like, for real self-expression. I loved the rhythm. I, yeah. um, I love that it's a very individual art form, that your your voice and, like, where you grew up and, like, the, the music that you love and that you've listened to and that the food... Everything contributes to like how you do what you do, you know. Um, and and I, I think it's like another language for me. It's like I, you know, I speak Spanish, I speak English, and when I learned tap dancing, I learned that rhythm language, and it has like given me a complete, uh, wonderful outlet for uh, self-expression and also an, ex uh, an, an opportunity to express my identity, like who yeah. I am as a woman, as a black woman, as a Puerto Rican woman, like all of that. Yeah. It's free, a lot of freedom. Well, I was just going to say, Ayodele, as a mm -hmm. fellow Boricua from the Bronx, but a non-tap dancer, <laughs> first ah. of all, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Not only for all of your accomplishments, you. but I think that there are so many little Boricuas, you know, Afro-Latinas, who look mm. up to you oh, because yeah. of what you've done. And there is no there is no expiration date. You started this mm -hmm. when you were 19. And I actually would love to learn how to tap mm -hmm. dance. So I will call you later so you can give me a private <laughs> lesson. But speak to us a little bit about. Um, Please do. I'm available. <laughs> so am I. Um, but I'm curious about, you know, for, for the viewers at home, you, there there is a, a cultural dance called Bomba y Plena, mm. which is um, it's 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 widely mm -hmm. spread in the Caribbean and specifically in Puerto Rico. And the dancers are very rooted in the ground mm -hmm. and we dance to the beat of a drum. What mm -hmm. is the correlation you find between that mm -hmm. and tap dancing? Because when I see you tap dance, I really do think of mm -hmm. la plena, la bomba, yeah. and I know that this is so mm -hmm. much ingrained in, in your identity oh. as a Latina. I love that question. And um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, tap dancing is rooted in African culture. It's, it's actually an art form that was true. born here in, in, in the U.S. Um, and it is rooted in you know, when, when African people were brought here and enslaved and their drums were taken away, you know, after a, a very um, uh, infamous revolt, uh, they found another way of expressing themselves. So that, that um, and you know, and as you know, we African people were dropped off everywhere um, in the Caribbean. And so that uh, drum 
the uh, the rhythm, the the connection with um, as it relates to like spiritual power is like really like grounded in tap dancing mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. And so I think that um, for me, Bombay Plena is also an expression of that. Um, you know, um, and so that that is that that is the route that you are seeing. You're seeing the African spirit, you know, um, in there. It's awesome, and, mm -hmm. I, and and to Mani Soul's point, all the the little ones who are looking up to you. Yeah. Not only are you this incredible role model mm -hmm. in terms of being on the dance floor, right, and breaking some barriers, but and, and mm -hmm. I don't say it lightly, but you're on a postage stamp. I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's incredible, <laughs> right? I mean, that's absolutely that incredible. <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit of this journey it's, to get on that wow. stamp. Look at that. And how many did you buy? Be honest. I mean, did you buy them out? Yeah, I know. I bought. I bought. No, I didn't buy it out. I bought about uh, 15 books of them. So, yeah. but um, but then I keep giving them away to like you know yeah. my neighbors. I'm like, oh here, here's one. You know, Aww. um, and of course my family. But yeah, that is wild. Like I remember when I. I mean, I started this art form. Uh, I was so intrigued by it's like, um, the way it felt and how how it looked and, and how it sounded. And I remember when I first started at 1921, when I understood what this was about, I said, I just want to make an impact in some way. I want I want to make a difference. I want people to say that, you know, this is Ayadele, a black and Puerto Rican yeah. woman who made a difference, period. And so for me to be able to represent this art form on the U.S. Postage Forever stamp, like, it is That's incredible. Awesome. It, I mean, it is a little surreal. I'm not going to lie, but yeah. it's beautiful. I'm, I'm so proud yeah. and I'm really honored. Uh, OG? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I was just going to say, first of all, yeah. your name is, is a Yoruba name, a Nigerian name, Ayodele. When I started, I was like, wait, what? Are we cousins or what? <laughs> so, just so, so I knew it. But just be honest. Let's just say, like, Muchacha yeah. and I, oh, we all show up to, like, tap. I know you said it's uh, anyone can start tapping, yeah. but you have to have some kind of rhythm. Will you be honest to someone? Because you're doing it, you're yeah. a professional, and you do it with grace and class. I do it. You know those like foam like balloon thingies outside the car dealerships? That would be me. So would you be honest? Not everyone is born no. to do that. So you have to be I honest. Would. You know why I would be? I would be honest. I would okay. say that no matter what level and what uh, that you do it at, it's it's a worthy pursuit. Tap dancing is a worthy pursuit. Yeah. So yes, and mm. it's and you know what? There are no mistakes. Only world premieres, right? right? So all you have to do right. is. Ooh, I yourself. like that. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. we we mentioned at the top um, uh, in one of our clues, funny girl, and uh, you know, Mighty Soul thought we were having Barbara Streisand. <laughs> so, but you are the choreographer for the. How's it going? I'm the tap choreographer for Funny Girl Broadway Revival. I'm so thrilled. Um, wow, we actually awesome. start rehearsals in February. Wow. Uh, this is a huge, huge thing. I'm so happy to see that. Yeah, wow. it is. Um, I'm so excited. I mean, this show hasn't been on Broadway yet in over 50 years, so we are. Um, we're going to bring it. You know, I'm excited to bring tap dancing um, and and tap dancing in the way that my community does it um, to to this production. Uh, it's going to be, I, I think it's going to bring down the house, mm -hmm. you know, Fantastic. and shout out to Eleanor Scott, who's the uh, other, other choreographer Beanie. on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Beanie. Oh I mean, you gosh. were such an inspiration <laughs> being a woman in that role. When you think about, you know, for, mm -hmm. for little girls or little boys mm -hmm. growing up watching tap dancers, it was Gregory Hines, it was Savion Glover. And now here you are. You're you're amazing, and we're so proud of you. Yes, and right. to speak with you this morning. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm. Thank you so much. It's been like my greatest pleasure, and I'm so I'm so excited. Well, thank, thank you, so you for making the time for <laughs> yeah. us this morning and being our surprise guest. I really am gonna find you. Oh yeah, we're all yeah. gonna find yeah. you. <laughs> we are gonna be the the, the worst so class you that you, that you wow. ever had. At the massive holes in my swing, I want to learn how to tap I dance. I want to learn you. how to play basketball. Oh. so you're gonna have my tap dancing covered. All right. I love. Please come. I'm I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Well, awesome. Thank you all. Well, I'll be there. Uh, you, you also have some performances at the Joyce Theater. We'll post it online <laughs> so people can get uh, some information. Yes. There. All right. Thank Woo! you for being here. We love you. Come January back soon, okay? All right. I shall. Thank you very much for having me this morning. All right. <laughs> Best of luck. Bye. And if there's something you want to know, everybody, <laughs> email us. I want to know at pixelman.com. We'll have one of our celebrity experts on to answer your question. Good morning.